I'm Deb Shoemaker and I'm an art therapist with Integrated Therapy Associates and now I'm going to present to you some basic information about how art therapy is used in the group process. Typically when I do a group um, art therapy session um, that looks like hopefully no more than six people <laughs> uh, around a table. My groups were forever inter interchanging. So the, so every, each new group was a new group. So I would introduce um, the group, the group process, and say a little bit about what that was like, or the expectations and that kind of thing. And then I nearly all the time gave a directive. But that's not to say you can't do um, self-directed groups also. They're just as wonderful, but that was my choosing and most of the time. Sometimes people would work on an, their individual, their own piece of paper and create their image and then at the end of the group or the, the, the ending part of the group we would go around and if people wanted to they could talk about either their experience of, of, the, of drawing or they could share um, their actual picture and um, you, most of the time, everybody would end up talking about either their process or their or their image, and um, and that kind of usually in groups there will be an ex, you know the extroverts will kind of lead the way, and then everybody um, get, gathers their courage, and 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 the groups are very supportive of each other, so it creates a safety net to to talk about their artwork, and that's very um, vulnerable, especially for adults because. They haven't. Most adults haven't drawn since grade school, and they're they're terrified <laughs> to show their artwork, and so it, it's a real healing um, process in the groups. And that was some basic information about how art therapy is used with groups.